tracking. Here's a live look outside. The rain is moving in and ice is coming with it. And some areas are reporting accidents. State police just reporting that I-89 is closed at exit 9 northbound due to some uh, slick conditions out there. Let's turn things right over to meteorologist Haley the point. Yeah, you can see it on that pavement in Meredith and it's so hard to tell if it's just wet, but that looks shiny to me. So we're hearing that throughout the lakes region and through the I 89 corridor, essentially to the north and to the west of Concord, very slippery. So I'm just going to emphasize this now. If you have plans to travel this morning, if you can wait off until even 11 AM or later, that's going to be so much better. We've got freezing rain coming down through the central part of the state and up north to dangerous travel, some wet snowflakes in the White Mountains and North Country. This has just been posted within the last hour from the National Weather Service, a winter weather advisory for central and northern New Hampshire, and it's due to the threat of this icy glaze. What's happened is this rain that has moved in has also been moving in, but the warm air has not. So at the surface, the temperatures are below freezing still from Concord points to the north. So the liquid rain is falling on the cold surfaces and freezing on contact. That's what this pink color is. So again, it's mainly through the lakes region, Ossipee, Conway, even in the North Country likely seeing this, some wet flakes mixing in on top of the mountains, but it is mainly a freezing rain event. Look at this, Littleton all along 93 to Plymouth. Good news is things are actually stopped out along 89 north of Warner and into Lebanon. There are still some rain showers to the west, but it likely will be falling in the form of rain as we push from 11 a.m. onward. Temperatures now too close to freezing, but will warm up later.